I have close to 11,000 subscribers on my website and I've sent them over 200,000 emails. But my email marketing cost is barely a couple of dollars a month. And this is not just broadcast email, I use all sorts of automation. So triggers, automations, all the bells and whistles, no compromise in the feature set. And I do it all in WordPress. Here's how. So a bit of backstory on why I did this. I built this website as a personal site project, as a hobby, and I set it up with WordPress and mostly free plugins. Now, I didn't know where this website would go, whether I would use it or whether I would actually make money from it. So when it came to setting up emails, I was not sure if I wanted to pay a monthly subscription for a service that I was barely going to use. Now, to be fair, a lot of email service providers did offer free tiers where you could get 500 subscribers or something for free. But the downside was that as soon as you started to grow, your cost would start to balloon. So I wasn't sure that if I wanted to actually do this as an experiment and start paying money because I had no monetization plans whether I would actually make money from this site. So in the midst of this decision making process, I wasn't even sure that if I should just add any kind of email service or email newsletter on my site, I thought, hey, let's put it together and just let's see where it goes. And then I will figure out later if I want to add any kind of email marketing or email newsletter to the site. But then everything changed when I discovered FunnelKit. So once I discovered FunnelKit, I saw that it had everything I needed. And I do mean everything. The monetization plans I had for my site was, hey, I'll maybe add some digital products, maybe a course or two or something like that. And FunnelKit gave me exactly every single thing that I wanted. It gave me the option of having CRM, that means customer data on my site. It allowed me to um, create lists, tags, automations, audiences. It gave me a funnel builder so I can create funnels on my site. I could also set up detailed automations on my site based on this. And it's also integrated in a lot of different software. So if I, let's say, wanted to use an LMS, I could use FunnelKit to assign certain courses through the LMS as well. So I didn't have to pay for a separate CRM. I didn't have to pay for complex automation software. I didn't have to pay for most of the things that I would have needed to make this business work if it worked. And on top of that, I could also use FunnelKit to handle my email marketing. So after discovering all the cool features that FunnelKit was offering, I went to work and did some research. I went through the docs, made some Google searches, ran some scenarios in my head that what kind of workflows I would I need if I made this website work. And to my honest surprise, everything that I wanted to do was probably possible in FunnelKit. So I decided to make Leap and made the purchase, installed it in my site and discovered the features over time. And to my positive surprise, I discovered more extra features that probably what I didn't discover during my initial process. And that gave me even more control over how I could use FunnelKit. The email part was a little tricky to set up, so let me try to explain how I've set it up. I use a plugin called WP Mail SMTP to connect with an SMTP service. The SMTP service of choice for me is Amazon SES, which stands for Amazon Simple Email Service. It allows you to send emails at scale. So I connect with that, and then FunnelKit also connects with Amazon SES to start sending emails or have like offloading all your email right onto Amazon SES. The setup for making everything work so that WPMail SMTP has connection to Amazon SES and then FunnelKit is also configured properly, probably took me around two to three days and like two, three hours of work every day because I had to make sure that my Amazon SES account was set up, everything was done. I had to verify my email, the DKIM settings, all the things that you need to do when you start any kind of email thing. So it took me a while and once I had set everything up, I had bounce handling set up, I had verification set up, I sent a couple of test emails, had my Amazon account verified, it took me around three days, four hours of work. And I'm not like the most technical guy, but the documentation was pretty straightforward, the process was straightforward, the sendees, add this information here, add this information there, and everything was set up. I also had to validate my account on Amazon SES because they ask you questions about, hey, why or what will you use your emails for? So I just gave them my use case, hey, these, these are, or this is what I'll use my emails for. And I just got my rate limit upgraded in a day. So basically in a couple of days of work, I was able to set everything up, uh, my emails, domain verifications, bounce handling, everything else. Basically I had a mini email marketing solution built right on my site. And now I could start using this to send out emails. So obviously I did all the tests. I sent a couple of emails to myself, tested replies, and everything worked perfectly. So once everything was set up, my account was set up, email was set up, it was time to start collecting subscribers. So for a couple of months, I don't think I did anything, but then I figured out, hey, let's make something or make use of this website to start doing something. So I didn't have any traffic to actually get subscribers. So most of my traffic comes from paid ads. So that's where the 10,000 subscribers are coming from. I offer them some free stuff and they can get subscribed. So 
Now what the features I use are broadcast. So I can send out an email to my entire list, uh, just a portion of my subscribers, people tagged with a certain tag on my site, or I can create lists of people who are interested in only certain parts of, let's say, what kind of uh, money that I send them. So all these features are built right into FunnelKit. So I've set up correctly based on where the information is coming from, where the user is coming from. I put them the right list, right tags. So I can send an email to all my audience or a certain set of my audience very easily. I also have a fully fledged email builder. So I can create visual emails. I can create, create text emails, rich text emails everything else. So all the bells and whistles that you would expect to have in a professional email marketing solution, visual email builder is part of FunnelKit as well. I don't use it as much. I have a few emails set up with the rich builder. Most of my emails are text and reminders. So I set them correctly as well. The most impressive part of using FunnelKit, which is a huge advantage compared to other email marketing solutions that you can pay for, is the WordPress integrations. So because FunnelKit is also an automation builder, I can set up triggers based on what people do. So let's say people uh, log in after a month of inactivity. I can send them an email, hey, welcome back. Or if they submit a quiz or an assignment or they submit a post or they leave a comment. There are a lot of triggers that you can use to do actions on the site. And I don't have any e-commerce functionality. For e-commerce websites, you can do abandoned cart recovery, birthday reminders, send a coupon, create new coupons, create users, all that stuff. So imagine the possibilities you have when you set a funnel kit perfectly, you can actually do so all sorts of triggers and automatically nurture your audience. And of course, you can also create automations. It's not like a, hey, this happens, this happens. You can create a multiple steps of what happens. So you can set up an entire email sequence that happens for like seven days and then wait and then seven days. And on top of that, you can also integrate with other plugins. So you can connect with an LMS, connect with other uh, plugins that you've installed on your site. And it also connects with Zapier, Pabli, all sorts of automation tools. So if you want to do really complex automations that, hey, this happens on my site, send the data there, everything happens there, and then come back. You can all of do, do all of that right inside FunnelKit. That's pretty amazing. And on top of all these wonderful features, you have a fully fledged CRM so you can track data for what's happening, create custom fields for users and track everything. And also you have a funnel builder, which I don't use as often. Uh, and you can create upsells, downsells, one-time offers, all that stuff, everything in just one product, which is FunnelKit. Pretty amazing. So that's the feature side. I've been using this for over a year on my website, sent out a lot of emails, which I showed you in the beginning. Haven't had any complaints with terms of deliverability because I don't spend send spam. I only uh, send information to people who subscribe and the unsubscribes, the bounce handling, everything works, have no, have no complaints. Every month I get a bill from Amazon SES, which is what I pay for. And depending on the number of emails I send, I have a bill for a dollar or two dollars, a couple of dollars, that's it. So the fee that I pay is to Amazon directly and all the technical part of the automation where the flows and everything is built is on FunnelKit. So that's my tech is set up and it's not like I've just started. I've been using it for over a year. Works wonderfully. The del deliverability has been not an issue for me because I set everything up correctly. Now, I do want to address one of the important things that most people when they discover FunnelKit would have the question. If you go to FunnelKit's website and you buy the entire bundle and you want all the bells and whistles, all the features, you might be paying a price, which I'll put on the screen, depending on the offer or the sale price. I think it's on sale at the time of this recording, but you might see a pretty hefty price tag. And you might think, hey, for that price, you could just pay for an email marketing solution. Why do you, did you go through all this hassle to do this, to set up everything on your site, where you could just have a one-click solution through a SaaS kind of product? So I already explained my first reasoning, which was that I wasn't sure if this website or blog would go anywhere. So I had no intention of doing something with it. So paying for something did not make sense. Now, most email service providers do have some generous subscription limits, but it's like, hey, if you get 500 subscribers, now you start, start paying. And if you don't send an email at all, then you still pay 29, 30, whatever dollars a month to start or not even send email. So that was the kicker that, hey, if I do an experiment and maybe gain 500 subscribers and I have to pay 30, 40 dollars a month, even if I don't send email. And the second important factor was that I'm paying a one-time fee, but I'm getting unlimited everything. I can create un unlimited flows, create an unlimited number of subscribers, have the subscribers sitting on it and send unlimited, technically unlimited number of emails to my list. And my price does not stack up except for the Amazon SEOs fee, but that's negligible when it comes to sending hundreds and thousands of emails, a couple of dollars. And I just did a simple calculation before I started recording this video. And if I had 10,000 plus subscribers on popular email marketing solutions, how much would I be paying just to have the privilege of having the subscribers, no, no email limits. So depending on the email provider you go for, you might be paying at least like I just did the test 
at least $100 to $150 a month to have the privilege of sending emails to your list. And that was the kicker that now it started kicking in. In the initial days, I thought, hey, this is too complicated, maybe a couple of days of wasted effort. But now I can get double number of subscribers while still paying negligible amount for running my newsletter or sending emails or sending, doing all sorts of additional things on my site. And of course, since uh, FunnelKit is a WordPress plugin, I do get the advantage of doing all sorts of automation with regards to WordPress, which would not have been possible if I used a popular email marketing tool because they're software as a service, they're not connected to WordPress. And because I have connections with webhooks to any service, I can basically just do everything, almost everything. I'd say for my use case, 99% of things that I wanted to do are now possible because I can send data to any other tool if required. So that's the reason I set up my email marketing newsletter and service on WordPress with FunnelKit. And this has been a wonderful journey. It's been, it's a very powerful tool. I send email almost every single week. So if you have any questions regarding FunnelKit, do let me know in the comments. I've been a power user, or technically, I think I've been a power user for some time. So I might be able to answer most of your questions. And of course, check out links to FunnelKit and everything else I mentioned in the description of this video. This is Yuvraj from WBeginner. Beginner. If you have any questions, suggestions, please let in those comments. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.